Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Today we're going to go over height maps with images. Uh, it's been a while since I've done my tutorials. Uh, I'm sorry I've been busy. I now have a Twitter. You can always go to twitter.com slash super3boy if you want to follow me. Uh, get info on the latest tutorials, DVDs, or you just want to uh, tweet me a question on Blender, uh, feel free to do so. We're also partnering with Blenducation, uh, which offers live uh, tutorials, both free and paid, and I hope to do uh, a few uh, live tutorials with them on various subjects uh, soon. So let's move on to our tutorial. So we're not going to need our default cube today, but rather we're going to be using a plane, so add mesh, mesh plane. Uh, we're going to scale it up 5 and go into edit mode. Uh, we're going to subdivide it a few times. That seems good enough. And go back into object mode. Uh, now we just need to click here to start a material. Uh, click add new. Uh, then we're going to go up here to the texture right next to that little uh, red ball icon, add new, texture image type is going to be image, second one up, and now we're going to go into this program here. This is paint.net, it's a free uh, image editing program, uh, just kind of like Photoshop, uh, but free, you can also use Photoshop to do the exact same thing. Um, what I'm going to be doing here is creating a uh, cloud texture. Um, for our uh, bump map or our height map uh, with black denoting um, that the uh, vertices um, go uh, down and white uh, denotes they go up from the plane. Um, I'll demonstrate this in a minute when we get this running. Um, so all we have to do here is go to effects uh, render clouds and you can download this uh, software from getpaint.net and um, it's also available on mystic.com if you don't want to go through the trouble of creating an image uh, if you look in the video uh, description I have a link to the zip file with this image and the blend file um, now we're just gonna go here and it doesn't really matter um, what scale or roughness we want us play with these. And that looks good enough and we'll just hit OK. So I'm going to save this as cloud if I could spell dot PNG and I just like PNG it's a little bit better replace yes and hit OK. So it's going to save that image and we're going to pop it open in Blender. Uh, so we're going to go down here back to Blender load cloud.png, select image, and ta-da. So we have to make sure several uh, options are selected. Uh, MIP map, interpol, use alpha, and also clip. Then we're going to go to uh, our editing uh, tab here, go back into edit mode, and then we're going to click this noise button here a few times. So let me get a good angle to start and we're going to click it a bunch of times to your liking. Okay, as you can see you're getting like a random terrain here um, and this is based off of the image that we just created. So if you look at this recess part here that's kind of blackened over here uh, that little dish right there corresponds to that black part in the image and so on. Um, like I said before, whoops, I hit a random button there, let's undo that. Um, black goes down, white goes up. So let's demonstrate this with a uh, smiley face and just a little bit of text here. Uh, so I'm going to just throw together a little brush tool here, have black selected, I'm going to new stick and really ugly letters uh, and then I'm gonna put a smiley face 
and we're gonna save this over. Um, then we're gonna go back into Blender, go back into Textures, uh, right here. Whoops, we have to be uh, in Object Mode here. All right, uh, then we just hit Reload, and we have to actually undo that real quick. So now we're gonna go back into edit mode and hit noise and as you can see the black portion goes down and the lighter portion goes up. So now you have a really ugly looking <laughs> thing there now. Um, so this is an easy way to create uh, terrains without uh, too much hassle uh, just using your basic image editor. Um, you can also uh, for looks, add a subsurf. Yeah, two, three levels is good enough. Uh, go back into object mode. Uh, give this a little look around. So, uh, but that's a little intensive on the pic uh, on the faces. So, two is good enough for just uh, viewing it. And you got your nice little uh, terrain there. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, tutorial. Um, like I said, it's been a while, but um, this is a really helpful uh, way. For example, if you're making like a game, um, which is actually the next uh, tutorial, uh, it's going to be a series, uh, a bunch of tutorials on how to make a, a game in Blender um, that I'm doing next. So if you are new and looking at my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, but this is a great way to make uh, terrains and stuff uh, for uh, your game. And we'll probably play around with this a little bit more when we get into that. Alright, well that's really it for this tutorial. Uh, remember you can always you can visit my Twitter, Twitter page, sorry, uh, nistic.com. You can download the uh, blend file and the image uh, that we're going to use, uh, that we use for this tutorial and the and uh, the video file uh, in high quality. Be aware it's a few hundred megs so because I record all my stuff in um, high, high quality. So that's it for this tutorial and I will see you guys on the next uh, and first uh, game tutorial. Alright, bye.